Hey guys, today we have the ultimate work shoe guide. I wanted to show you the full spectrum of work shoe options. I know some of you want comfort but don't want to sacrifice on style. Today I just wanted to show you such a wide range so you can really fill in any gaps you have in your closet. Some of these are coveted shoes that I've had for several years. They're tried and true favorites and I try to shoot for an aesthetic that's super neutral so it would fit a wide range of dress codes depending on your work office. As always, everything mentioned and today's video will be down below in the description box. I love you guys so much and on that note, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off from flats and then move on to high heels. In the flats category, this is obviously the best option for anyone out there that doesn't like any type of heels, that has a more casual environment. And we're gonna start off with the athletic option, which is of course the sneaker. I highly recommend something that looks more elevated, very minimal. So this is a really great option. This is a leather option from Vince. And it has that edgy street style with the extra chunky platform, but the entire upper is in like a upscale material, that all smooth leather. It's also not super stark white, it has this nice off-tone color. On the flip side, you could also do just a plain white sneaker. Those are always fresh and clean. These were gifted to me by Steve Madden like several years ago. I always get so many questions on these, I can't get rid of them, but these were Steve Madden sneakers, less than $50. But what I really like about them as an example is that it is completely white. You have some detailing on the side with the perforation. Ultimately, in terms of graphics, like you want something clean and minimal, not too loud, something that will look really appropriate like with the suit. So here are two different options to consider. Cezanne also makes a really beautiful leather sneaker. So again, investing in something that has more of like the premium quality look will extend better into your work office outfits. Next flat to consider is of course the loafer. I am a big fan of anything menswear. You can't get anything more classic than this. And one of my favorite styles is from Sam Edelman. It's got a premium designer feel, especially with this foiled hardware here. But ultimately, the shape of it is just a classic loafer that's comfortable. The sole is super bendable, but it still has a really nice low sole for ultimate comfort. And these come in a lot of different colors, but of course, you can never go wrong with classic black. Another alternative that's really popular the past few years is like super trendy, chunky loafers. Things with like super thick treading. You have contrasting stitching, the extra chunky sole. It looks a little bit like grunge, cool, hip. This one in particular doesn't have any hardware on it, so you can see two different vibes, even though they're both loafers. One of my favorite ones that I bought last year was the Prada loafers with the extra chunky heel. So there's a wide spectrum in terms of just a plain black loafer. These are from Just Fab, by the way, for like less than $20. I got them on sale. Love the loafer for something more menswear. Like wearing a loafer with any casual outfit will just like up the dress code factor, you know? And then we have the classic flat. Now, there's three different types that come to mind. Mind. We have something that's like a slingback flat. This one's my favorite because I love a pump. I love a high heel. You have kind of like that sexy edgy factor, but still the comfortability of like a flat. Then we have like a ballet flat, which you can go round toe or you could go pointed toe. Personally, if you can see everything in my closet, I go with the sharp pointed toe. It looks more dressy compared to the rounded toe ballet flat. That's a little bit more casual. Obviously the rounded toe is probably a little bit more comfortable in the toe box, but in terms of like the way I like to dress up for work. I really like that sharp pointed toe because it really emulates like a stiletto pump. This one in particular is from Vivea. If you guys seen a lot of my past work videos, I started featuring this brand a lot. It is so comfortable. They're made to be like running sports shoes and the material is like a really soft, stretchy, breathable sport knit. But of course you have the sophistication of a work office shoe. These in particular were made with hemp too. So these are really nice, super comfortable. Look at how much you can stretch in these. So if you're really looking for comfort, Comfort first. I highly recommend this brand. And then the last option is something like our past category, the loafer and a, a ballet flat. I've been seeing a lot of these the past few years and I think it's really cool. These in particular though are like so old, but I can't get rid of them. These have that front look of a loafer, but it has the silhouette and the minimal design of a ballet flat. These are from a company called Me Too. They're super squishy. I'll try to show different alternatives to these, but this is a nice hybrid that has like a menswear touch, but has the simple minimal design of like a ballet flat. So these are probably the most versatile. They're very clean, they're very simple, they're not too bulky, and these would be a really appropriate direct swap out compared to like a pointed toe pump like this. That hurt. <laughs> Okay, moving to our next category, let's talk about like kitten heels or heels that are like two inches and below. This is like a great category to play in if you do want a little bit of a lift, but you want to be comfortable like a flat. Now you can do a couple of different styles. 
else. You could get something with like a chunky heel like this, which is like optimal stability. Or you can do something that's more of like a thin stiletto type of kitten heel. Either way, there's just like such a beautiful elegance to a shoe like this because it doesn't feel like you're going out to a club, but it doesn't feel like as casual as a flat. And it just gives you that perfect lift to make your outfit look really feminine and sophisticated. So this one in particular is the same as this flat I showed you from Vivea. It's got that same comfortable, breathable knit. These in particular are called the heels that you can run in. This one just has like a little micro heel. You can hear the clickety clack, but ultimately it's designed like a really comfortable ballet flat or sports shoe. So this one has got the nice pointed toe. I love anything in the, of course, that nude color palette, as you can tell. This one is such a great direct swap out to the nude pumps that I really Really love. Then moving on to a chunky heel style. These have been really popular, having the chunky heel paired with the slingbacks. These are ones from Sam Edelman, and I love these because they have an extra wide chunky heel. It feels very mod. And then you have the pointed toe in the front. Or I have this pair from Edited Pieces. Edited Pieces is the brand by Extra Petite, a really famous blogger. Love her. And she just did an amazing job designing this beautiful shoe. Great leather, nice sling back with like the dorsi open cut in the side. And then you have a black cap toe in the front. Very reminiscent of Chanel. Sophisticated, designer looking, and really well made. And I posted these on my Instagram, but these are my recent favorites. Another smash hit from Sam Edelman. These are rated five stars. It's so good. It looks very similar to like these Prada pumps that I've been having my eye on. It has such a designer feel, but as you can see, this is like a small kitten heel. It's wide from the back, but it's skinny on the side. So from the side, it looks like a stiletto heel, but from the back, you actually have more stability than you think. And then you have the pointed toe in the front, the sexy sling back. I love sling backs because it gives you the security of a full blown shoe but that little glimmer of the heel makes it look less clunky and just really like sexy and sophisticated so these are such a smash hit I love these definitely check out Sam Edelman I'll link some of my favorites but they definitely are doing so well in the work shoe category from like tall heels and shorter heels okay and then the last category of course is the high heel shoe the high heel pump I love high heels they're one of my favorite things to wear if you guys know I have a massive collection of nude pumps, especially for workwear. I love the extra lift. I'm so used to walking in them, and so I have a pretty extensive collection, but this is the Hazel Pointed Toe Pump from Sam Edelman. This is one of their best sellers, one of their like hero shoes that they always feature. I've gone through like five different pairs of these. I've worn these so much over the past few years. So now they just recently made a slingback version, and I find these to be more comfortable, more stylish, and again, the slingback trend, I'm really feeling it. So I got this in this color. And then I have this patent peach beige color in the nude. And then I have the matte black. So these are really great between the hazels or the slingback versions. Either one that you pick with your personal preference, you can't go wrong. I highly recommend it. Looks designer like Louboutins for a fraction of the cost. And you can get them on sale and they come in a wide range of colors. So I love those. Other options besides the Sam Edelman's, which I'll always love and promote, is the J. Crew. I think these are called the Elise pumps. But these have a slightly lower heel and the same gorgeous timeless design this is like the full pump here. They come in nice suede options. So I have the black suede and then I have the nude suede. And then shuts another great trendy shoe maker. They have the Lou that also has more of like a two and a half to three inch stiletto heel, the same pointed toe, but this one has more of like a sexy curved cutout vamp on the sides. And then my last favorite resource is Mango. Mango, you can score some affordable finds on the sale. This is more high street fashion. But one of my favorite ones that I got from them is this brown, like patent croc embossed sling back, which I love breaking this out for the fall to winter season. So down below in the description box, I'll put all of my favorite brands for each category, but I hope that today I showed you guys some really good ranges in terms of style and aesthetics. Again, it really depends on your personal dress code, what your commute looks like, but really you can interchange any of these shoes because they are so minimal and timeless. Like you can wear one outfit with two different pairs of shoes and get a completely different vibe, right? Like a suit with a heel versus a suit suit with a, a tennis shoe. I mean, even though you're reusing the outfit, just the swap out of the shoe can really change the whole look up. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed my collection. Thank you guys so much for your support during my time right now. It means so much to me, all of your comments, and I'm sending you all that good love and energy back. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.